Hello and welcome. Oh, is the mirror dirty? Hello and welcome to my hair transplant vlog. My name is Devin. I am a drag queen. Yes, my name is Devos in drag, but this video is about something I did for myself. The hair transplant I did at the age of 25. I'm not going to show you the reveal yet, but this is my hair. I am... Oh god, I should have figured this out before. Four... I'm like nine months out from the hair transplant, so it's been about nine months. And in theory, I think the recovery isn't even finished, but my hair is so much thicker on the top, and I can't wait to show you the hairline at the end of this video, but this is the very, it's already a long video, so I'm not going to talk anymore, but this is the process of getting my hair transplant. I'll pop in to give some more details um, that I forgot to say, but I wanted to make this video because there was no resources for me of other people going through this. I think people don't like talking about it, people are embarrassed, um, so I'm just making this video because I want p other guys to be able to see this and be like, oh, like this is what happens, it's okay, it's not that crazy, because well, everyone in my life had something to say about it, whether or not that they think, oh, just be natural, enjoy your natural body, or, you know, why, oh, it doesn't look that bad. But every day I was waking up and I was thinking that I looked ugly, and I didn't want to live my life like that. And this is the best decision I've ever made for myself, so, um, here's the video. Good morning video! This is my hair transplant vlog. I think it won't be done until after it's grown back in. So we're just getting started. But this is the before. It's gonna go. The goal, the dream, the hope is it's gonna go whoosh, whoosh, straight across. And I'll have hair that just bellows in the wind with the perfect hairline. But I'm on the way. I'm supposed to be there in just a few minutes. Zach's here, but he's not happy about today. He's not. 9201 Sunset. Okay. That's the man that's gonna do my surgery. Look at him. Oh, he's nice. Alrighty, hopping onto a voiceover so I can better explain this. So, there are two types of hair transplants, and I went in for an FUE hair transplant. The other kind, FUT, they cut a strip out of the back of your head and they sew you back up. And that's where they get the hair follicles from, but you have a scar in the back of your head. The FUE transplant I got, they actually take individual follicles from the back of your head. So they use a little circle saw and carve out individual follicles. So the first step is I laid on my stomach and for about two hours, they carved out all 8,000 hair follicles that they were going to use for the transplant. The next step is they put anesthesia in the front of my head. And it's interesting because the anesthesia travels backwards. So the top of your head is numb, but your face stays completely without anesthesia. So then they cut the 8,000 individual holes into where my new hairline will be that they're going to place the new hair follicles. And then after that process, they take all the follicles that they harvested and they place them into my forehead. So three steps. There is the taking it from the back of my head. There's the making the holes in the top of my head. And then there's placing them in. And here you can see the follicles in my forehead for the first time with my new hairline. I was very excited. <gasps> Surgery over. It was a measly 10 hours. <laughs> Just a small little thing. She would. I have so many instructions to do. Maybe I'll include that in the video. Maybe you won't care, but I take this off when I get home. I start icing and massaging. I have so many different things to place on the back to recover, which... This is what the back of my head looks like. Ding! All those little red dots are where they scalped a little circle and pulled out follicles. Very interesting, very fun, very cool. They kind of picked me up. Yes, I did. And um, that office was nice. It was it was pretty bougie and fun. So that <laughs> that was a fun little perk. You should have taken a stress ball with you. I did. Okay, good. I took a stress ball. Um, and yeah, I'll get more notes later. I feel a lot of it, but. Ladies and gentlemen, the at home reveal. That's glamour. That's European. That's stylish. That's model. Okay, now I do this. Where you see back? I did a little bit. Not terribly. And that's 
on tougher for American Horror Story this thing. And I think I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty stoked about those. Like when that's all here, like, it's gonna be great. Okay. Yay! Little blood trigger warning. Definitely blood all over my pillow. I'm sure they're one of the black ones, but. Say lovey, I suppose. Day, technically day one, post op, check in. I'm pretty uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie. Um, not like in a ton of pain, it just doesn't feel great. So, I just took the medicine and I've sprayed the stuff on, I'm supposed to spray on. Um, and of course I went out and dragged the night before, so like my room is kind of in shambles and I didn't get the chance to clean up. Which I do love when my room is clean, but not too much to report on. It's kind of hard to visualize what it's going to look like, but they were really confident that I shouldn't go any lower because like three fingers, that's like exactly where it lies. And they said straight across would look a little strange. I trust them. Back of my head update, I haven't even looked, um, but that just needs to heal. Low energy post-op update. Confirmed. Okay, so I just washed my hair for the first time. You put soap in a little glass of water and you pour it backwards and then you just keep pouring warm water until you think all the soap's out. I'm just like so terrified of knocking any of the follicles out of place, but next I need to put this on the back of my head. It helps the little cuts heal. Which we... Honestly, the back of my head seems to be healing pretty well, but I'm gonna massage this in the back of my head and then put some antibiotic on it and then that's everything for today, but I'll do a better job tomorrow updating you all. I kind of was just getting used to it today. It was a little overwhelming, honestly. There's a lot of steps, but day one complete. So I forgot to ice for a few hours and now I look like an alien. I mean, I'm vlogging for my, for my recovery vlog. It's insane. Look, like, look how crazy my- No, I noticed. Why didn't you say that? I wasn't completely sure. I noticed, I just don't want to say anything in case like- So unrelated to that swelling, they had me come back in a few days later just for a follow-up appointment. It was more to ask questions, what I can and can't do right now, how everything was going, and to make sure that I had everything I needed to succeed, and this red light actually stimulated the growth, so. Day four, they- oh jeez. <laughs> They've kind of phased me off the medicine, but I don't know if you know my face well enough, but my eyes look crazy right now. Like, this is like all swollen over. It looks like when I got stung by a bee on my face, but I texted the doc, said it's normal. <laughs> but look, they, you can kind of start to really see what the hairline's gonna look like, and I'm just so excited. So just checking back in, I never really talked about what I could and couldn't do. I was supposed to stay out of like chlorine in the ocean for a couple weeks, but to be honest, my doctor wasn't that worried about that. Um, kept my head elevated for the first few days because if blood rushed to the blood cells or to your head, it could like pop out some of the hair follicles, but again, just a couple days. And then I had this like spray that I put on every two hours to keep the follicles moist. There was another thing that I put in the back of my head to heal the cuts. And then there was another uh, gel that I rubbed in in order to kind of just like enhance the growth process and speed it up a little bit. Other than that, I was just keeping it clean, pouring water in my head to clean myself off and not put too much pressure at first. But to be honest, it wasn't that big of a deal and I was able to get back to normal life very quickly. Another thing I remembered, you couldn't wear shirts that went over your head, so only button up shirts, which is why I'm always in the same three shirts in this video. And also, I had to keep my head protected from the sun because it could have like sunburned from the fresh wounds and caused like a lot of like weird kind of mini scars. So you had to wear like very loose hats in the back or, or just try not to be outside really. All right, we are on day six. I was technically able to like massage my scalp today, but I was nervous, so I didn't. But as you can see, like I finally took my hair out of the little bun today. And I'm just like starting to have a real hairline and like 
I don't know if I've said it yet in this video, but I really feel like this is like gender affirming care. Like, it just feels like what I'm supposed to look like. You know, it doesn't feel like I changed anything. It just feels like what is supposed to be Devin. So I'm just, I feel so happy about it. I think I've done a pretty good job taking care of it. I um definitely had a friend's trip planned, so I definitely boozed hard the last two nights. She said it was okay. I'm not sure she knows what boozing hard means um, from the Devin definition, but let me turn the camera. I think it didn't affect anything and we're good to go. Here's the back of my head. I have no idea what it looks like, but. This is just a clip from that friend's trip to show that I did in fact go out looking like this and that's just how it was, baby. <laughs> So we just passed day 10. I just scratched my chest, sorry. And I just got to take like, I've been taking it a little slower than I'm supposed to because I've been extra cautious, but I just got to take like my first normal shower and feeling the hair on my forehead where I feel like there's supposed to be hair instead of like a bald head was like really cool. I don't know how to like put it into words. Feeling really good about it. I know these hairs are gonna shed out in the next two, three weeks before they start regrowing. I'm starting my my medicines, minoxicil, and one other one, which I will put on the screen right now, um, which will improve all my hair growth. So I might put denser beard and eyebrows, but um, more shaving for Debo's, I suppose. But oh, God, I'm just so excited. Yeah, look at these pictures of me feeling myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, check back in later. Quick two week check in. So apparently between days 10 and 14, I always zoom in too close. All my, the tops of my hairs are supposed to break off and then the follicles start their first regrowth. But as you can see, most of my follicles, actually their shafts have not really broken off. So some of them have, but some of them have not. So my doctor said that's fine as long as there aren't scabs blocking oxygen getting into the follicles. So. That's how my little growth is going. I'm, I'm honestly so hyped they're not all breaking off and falling off because it's allowing me to get excited and kind of follow the progress. Um, I have noticed or done some research about minoxidil, which is a product I'm using to help stimulate more hair growth. Could have side effects on body hair. So we're gonna keep posted. These are what my arms have always looked like. I honestly really like my arms and how hairy my legs are. Sorry, I don't know if you want to see this, but so I'm going to kind of track that as well. I don't know if I want more body hair, but two week thoughts. Sorry, I'm a little tired, but we got them. Quick check in. We're at day 18, and as foretold, most of the shafts of the hair have fallen off. The follicles are still in there, but they said this was part of the natural shedding process. So this is the last time I have to see this with the little hair. It's all going to start growing in now. I don't like it. I loved getting to see little hairs grow in and it's sad that they have to fall out for this process to go on, but um trying not to let it bother me too much. Cause there's nothing I can do as part of the process. And that's drag baby. Okay, so these are just a few candid clips of the process between when I got the transplant and today, just to show how my hair kind of grew out. That's the best way I thought I could do it. Um I just wanted to take this kind of time also to just say that, you know, people were like, Devin, you're 25, you don't need a hair transplant yet. But I didn't feel confident, and it was only going to get worse. And, uh, you know, the surgery, this is something that you can get and then have preventative measures so that you hopefully don't have to do it again. I just can't stress enough that if you have any questions, please comment them down below. I'd love to talk to you about it or, you know, communicate it because I kind of had to make this decision by myself and, you know, be confident enough to think that this was what was best for me. And it ended up being 
correct. It was the thing that was best for me, but it wasn't easy because I didn't have anyone to talk to or a lot of resources. So feel free to comment down below if you have any questions because um, it was huge for me. Haircut check. My hair guy says I have the best hair transplant he's ever seen in Hollywood. And yeah, I finally felt comfortable getting haircuts where the top of my hair wasn't crazy long to try to cover up my hairline. And I just could not be happier. I keep saying it, but look at that. I mean, come on. Okay, so here's the final reveal for the hairline. I hope you enjoyed the video. Look at what we're working with now. I don't know if you remember what it looked like to start, but this is just every dream that I've ever wanted for this process. I feel like if, you know, if my hair gets blown up, I look like I have the hairline I wanted. Here's up close. If you see on this side, there's that little red dot. It's some kind of mole or something I've developed in this process and I aggravated it before filming this video. But as you can see, it all has grown in really nicely and it just keeps getting more dense. So the medicine I take, the two medicines, Medoxidil, which they talk about it like irrigating your uh, the blood flow to your skin so you get more hair. To be honest, you saw earlier in the video, I don't think that my legs are hairier. And now because of drag, I shave everything. So I honestly haven't known a bit, noticed a big difference there. And then finasteride, I believe is the one that blocks the hormones that stop, that continue my um, hairline from receding. So and I take that every day now. But I mean, it's just such a dream come true for me to have this hairline compared to what I had. And again, I hope, you know, this finds some people because it would, if you don't know, like, you know, I don't usually have my hair like this, right? But having this hairline here means that everything looks more dense. My hair doesn't look sparse in the front. Like, I just can't stress enough. Like if you're thinking about this procedure, this is like huge and this will make you feel so much more confident. Um, I'm like trying to sell it <laughs> to people, but I just changed my life and I just feel sexy again, which as a young person, I think is important. Um, so yeah, I wanted this vlog to be authentic. I didn't want it to be like a produced video. I just wanted it to be my experience because there's not much of that out there. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, check out my drag stuff <laughs> if you like my personality. But I feel like it's allowed me to just be more confident in myself. So um, heck yeah. Go get a hair transplant if you think it would make you happy because I, I think it probably will.